folks, it's a hot one today in southwest Wisconsin and we've got the AC humming away so no better day to stay inside and make a video of the latest soaring tortoise electronics 100% recycled material guitar effect. Now here at Soaring Tortoise Electronics we've noticed there are a lot of pedals out there with the word blues in their title so you're apparently supposed to use them when you play the blues so you've got things like uh, I think the most famous would be the blues driver or at least the most ubiquitous would be the Boss BD 234 I don't know blues driver and then you have, oh, you know, the Screamin' Blues, and the Blues Screamer, and the Tube Bluezer, and the Blues Tuber, and the Tube Screamer, and, you know, I guess the last one doesn't have blues in the title, but it should, shouldn't it? Alright, so we have decided to create the world's first and probably only Disco Overdrive. That's right, folks, the washed up Disco Overdrive with controls for Gloria, control for Gainer, and a high waist control here. We've got a little looper over there for later. It's blue too. And we're going to be demoing this unit through the Soaring Tortoise Electronics special 5E3 Deluxe head into a 2x10 cabinet with a couple of vintage Jensen P10Rs from the 50s. Then we have from the 1970s this Japanese Aria Tela knockoff which looks like a Tela, but does not sound like a Tela. It has a 2000s Gibson Melody Maker guitar pickup in the bridge, which is not a Melody Maker pickup at all, but rather just an overwound half of a humbucker. But, you know, it fits in the hole, and it sounds pretty good. Let's give the washed up disco overdrive listen here it is a true bypass pedal and here is an example of its true bypass tone